Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now, my name is Manx, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem for Pick My Edits. And it's time for the three headed dragon thing assault. And I really like this, uh, this attack. I remember how much it caught me and my friend off guard when we played this game for the first time. We were so fucking piss scared when this shit came in. Because we, we were not prepared for it at all. Now luckily you do have warp staffs and shit, so there is a way to get through it. The only, like, thing that really sucks about this is that it, like, it takes for fucking ever. Uh, and of course you do have a speed up button when you play it on the emulator, but when I played it on the cartridge, I remember, like, we took turns, like, fetching food and going to the bathroom and, and shit, while the other one was just sitting around pressing end turn waiting for these guys to reach their destination. It is really slow and tedious to play. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. So we're just going to be speeding up until they're at the castle. When you uh, have uh, conquered this castle, there is actually a secret event with Charlo and Hannibal. They have a hidden conversation, but it only works if you wait next to the next or have them wait next to each other. Uh, and it m makes Hannibal pout a little bit about being a terrible father. Uh, and as a result, he buys Charlo the def uh, Berserk Staff, which apparently is what you give to kids when you neglect them. Well, he's not skilled enough to wield it. That's the thing. But we can sell it to get fifteen thousand, which we will use to, uh, which we will use to repair the Forsetti. And yes, I'm having Charlotte defend that castle, by the way. All right, so they are finally at the castle. So how I'm going to defend this is I I brought a bow wielding fast units, uh, AKA, aka my master knights, up to defend my two northern castles. Now, Johan and Mana can easily defend the castle from the Javeliners. They're no problem at all. They only have about 60% hit, which is not enough to even hit them. The issue are these commanders. They have Brave Lances, which means that they are scary as fuck. And they're surprisingly light as well. They hit for 41 damage. They also have three leadership stars, which buffs the units around them quite a bit. So they'll need to die, which is why I brought my Master Knights. Uh, as long as they go down, I should be fairly safe, which is why I also brought Dimna. Now, the reason why I'm safe doing this is because as long as the enemies are within range, I actually have to, I actually have to move Dimna up a little bit. But as as long as the enemies are capable of attacking the castle, they will go for the castle no matter what. Which is why I can place Layla right here to buff Charlo with her leadership. So it's actually actually completely fine to do so. Uh, however, uh, it looks like um, I can't get. I can't reach this guy yet, so I'm gonna have to have Johan uh, use the health swap to kill this guy. Now the javelins are so heavy, since they weigh 18, so Johan can actually double them, which is quite nice. Now it may look a little bit scary, but once he gets that 30% avoidance from the castle, they're not really gonna be able to hit him anymore. However, I am gonna be turning off his animations. There we go. That allows me to do this, to move around. Da -da -da. And use the silver bow, and Tristan should be able to kill this guy with the silver bow, ideally. I hope he is. There we go. He needs to hit another time. There we go. Now, they are not gonna go for Tristan as long as they can attack the castle, but just to be sure, I am equipping a Brave Sword. Actually, that's stupid. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, they will still go for the castle, because they are coded to do so. Meanwhile, Leaf's gonna try to take down this guy. I think he'll also need two shots to kill this guy, because these guys are really tough. There we go. And then I'm gonna fuck off. Actually, I should... Ah, never mind. It doesn't really matter. So now they're all gonna attack the castle, and they are all going to die terribly. Bum ba da 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 ba 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 And you do need to fend off this assault or else you will actually lose the game. Um but then once I'm done that I'm gonna move my guys down to uh to face uh Arion and he's gonna be pretty nasty. So yeah, Joan actually one rounding these guys with the Hull Swap, which is quite nice to see. And this should also give him the final uh, levels he need to promote. I do believe they have like an 18% chance to hit him or something like that. So he's not completely safe, but he should be relatively safe. 
I do believe Johan is level 18, so this should give him the experience he needs. Two hit points, one defense. Lovely. Of course, it's pretty expensive to use the Hulse Wolf in this way. I could probably have done the same thing with the Hand Axe, but... I prefer the 10 defense it gives me. If they should hit him, he will go down really fast without the Hulse Wolf protecting him. So I, one of the things I love with Fire Emblem 4 is when you find a strategy that works, it's really, really satisfying to pull it off. And I do believe the two last guys will give him the experience he needs to promote to Great Knight. A Charlo's the one I'm most excited about, but I do believe he will be able to pull it off. And there we go. Great Knight Johan incoming. Two hit points, one speed, one defense. And of course, here's Mana. And I do believe they actually have a 0% chance to hit her. Pew! And the great part is, she's gonna get a lot of money off this hour. In fact, it's actually just gonna pay itself in, now that I think about it. Alright, so after, after all that is done with, she killed them all, spoiler alert. It is time to uh, kill these guys' commander, and that should also be pretty easy with the Brave Bow. Oh, come on, what? There you go. I was... that almost went to hell, holy shit. Speed luck. And that leaves a whole bunch of these guys to attack Charlo. Now, Charlo has 44 avoidance, so they actually have a 0% chance to hit him. But they're gonna go for him nevertheless. Oh shit, I forgot to turn off animations. Whoop. We're gonna watch this in Forsetti speed. <laughs> and that is how you power level Charlo all the way up to level 14. Lovely. Alright, so I think actually what we should do is we should go into the arena and see if he can get further. Forsetti was used up quite a bit, but hey, that 15,000 gold really helped. Will he be able to kill Slyton though? That's the question. He was able to kill Slyton. Lovely. And he's still getting a shit a lot of experience from the arena. All right, this is this is the Draco Knight. This could get nasty. 49 damage with a Forsetti, but he will hit twice. Oh my god, he will actually kill Triesta. Okay, that's amazing. And that's another level up for Shalo. Hit points, skill, <laughs> strength. Lovely. Thanks. Alright, rank 7. That's Oh, we're at the Tornado guy. Oh, this is looking pretty good, actually. We could win this. Depends on the tinkage. Let's hope he doesn't tink us too hard. Ah, we got tinked. Now we're gonna get tornadoed. But Charlo could win this. He could win this if he's a little bit lucky with... Ah, shit. Come on, Charlo. Don't tink me. One more hit, and we got him. Yes! Oh my god. We took Kanan. Holy shit, he cleared the entire thing. 
E poi... Ma 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 Clear out the entire arena. It's still probably not gonna be enough to repair the first city. Yeah, that was the, that was the three-headed dragon assault. Cheesed pretty well, if I may say so myself. And then it is time for Johan to promote the Great Night. <laughs> Look at that shield. One skill, five strength, one speed, four defense, and three resistance. Look at that, majestic fucker. Not the best promotional gains, but hey, it works. It definitely works. 24 defense is nice. He's still pretty slow, though. Alright, so I say we take a trip back into the arena to see if we can fuck over the last guy that fucked us over. Millier. Okay, now we have 34 defense. This should be a fucking piece of cake. Oh, look at this. We're gonna take four hits for each time, though, so... The worst part is that we may not win this one. It kinda depends. We're gonna get tickled to death. Come on, Johan. Oh my god, her brave sword could actually break. Not that it matters though, because weapons never break mid-fight, but still. Come on, Johan. Come on, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. I do believe the next one's Klein. That should be super easy. Hell, we might even kill the uh, Brave Lance wielding uh, Draco Knight. Just because we have fucking 34 defense right now. I don't think we're necessarily gonna go down that easily. We'll see though. Slighton could be tricky. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna die. Yeah, I think we could have. I think we could have <coughs> taken down the Draco Knight, but Slighton just wasn't wasn't willing to budge. All right, so finally it is time to take on Arion. So here he is. He's a Falcon Knight. He has the Gungnir and a Miracle Band. Got to be really careful about the Miracle Band because he can actually become unkillable if you bring him below ten health, but does but doesn't kill him. I do believe in my substitute run, I think I brought him down to like 2 health, which means he was unhittable by anyone in my army, and he will just end up running around killing everything and anyone, uh, because he won't heal himself, because he doesn't have any heal skills or anything like that. One of the few characters in the game with 5 leadership stars, Pavice, Pursuit, Adept, and Nihil. Nihil means he can't get shot down by arrows. Your best bet is to take him down with magic, even though he has 25 rest right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheese this a little bit. I'm going to bring Linda into the fight. I'm going to place her right here. Place her right here. And I'm going to give her the Nosferatu tone. Now, if you notice, all of my leadership characters are in range of Linda. In fact, the only character that isn't in range of Linda right now, uh, she's in love with Tristan. Oh, no, never mind. Tristan isn't like Yeah, so uh, the Charisma bonus and the Lover bonus actually stack. Wait a minute. This I just realized Tristan does not have Charisma. Nor does Leaf. Why do I think they have Charisma? I don't know. Because they used to have Charisma. They lost Charisma when they when they promoted into Princesses. That kind of sucks. So now I actually only... Now I'm back to one user with Charisma. Lovely. So, um... Linda, with the Nosferatu Tome, is going to do this. Have fun with that. Shades of my Fire Emblem 3 Let's Play, eh? And she's gonna get quite a lot of experience as a result. Hit points, skill. In fact, she is just going to massacre everyone. <laughs> like this. I mean, it's a solid strategy, so why not use it? And that kind of thins out uh, half of the Wyvern squad leaders, so we can focus a lot of our attention on Arion. We just gotta be really, really careful. Alright, so uh, I think definitely think we can kill one of these guys with, uh, with, uh, Charlo. We want to give as many kills as we can to these other guys around here. Especially Aras is, like, level 17. He could definitely use, uh, use the experience to promote. 
Uh, just gonna make sure. Does he actually double these guys? Yes, he does. In fact, I think he kills them in one hit, doesn't he? 73 health. Holy shit, that's a lot of that's a lot of fucking health. Let's draw a health without the guy first. Oh, that's right. Johan still has his animations turned off. Lol. So, um... Oh, and also, of course, we can't forget about Daisy. These guys have slim lances, so I gotta be a little bit careful. But she should still be able to kill this guy relatively easy with the Bowman. Not kill him, maybe, but yeah, that's a problem. We should probably focus on killing Arion first, because that takes away all the leadership stars. So I'm probably gonna go in with Finn first. Actually, no, that's, that's a terrible idea. I should go in with Layla first. And then I should really bring in Selyse. Oh, zero percent chance. Yeah, this is pretty common, sadly, against Arion. Um, as you can see, his 50% accuracy is really coming into play here. With a 20% chance to hit. That's the big problem. It's just hitting the fucker. Now, if you somehow have access to a sleep staff, then that you can try to sleep him, because he only has 25 rest, but I think it have our sleep staff actually available for purchase nice level up right there but yeah right now we just gotta um, we gotta attack Arion with guys with a lot of head the Mjolnir has 65% chance to hit that definitely works we should bring in Femina though maybe we can get a lover crit no wait Arion has uh, awareness so that's not gonna work but uh, the extra hit still helps so he can tink, of course, which is really annoying. And he only hits once, which really fucking sucks. Does Altana have a conversation with Arion? I think she does. Oh man, look at that. How much damage, or how fast is he? He's 40 speed, for fuck's sake. And he has continue, so... Attacking him... I just want to see the battle quote with Altena. Oh, Arion. <laughs> God damn it, Arion. Why you gotta be like that? Alright, so I think what we should do is... I kind of positioned my Eunice a little bit stupidly, but yeah, I, I think Finn. Finn with an L win. 39% chance to hit, Jesus. Where is, um... Where is our Sage Lady? Hello, Sage Lady. Did I leave her back here? We didn't leave our sage behind, did we? Where's our sage lady? Ah, there she is. Linda. I think Linda with the lightning tome. That's how I took down uh, Arion last time, but holy shit, only 33% chance to hit. That is just brutal. But it's still better than nothing, I guess. Oh, right. Still no animations. Come on. Nope. <sighs> Alright, so we got... I think Finn's our best chance, actually, possibly. I mean, we can try the killer bow, but it doesn't really do much. His defense is too good. I mean, the guy has 31 defense. It's stupid. I mean, what we can do is we can attack with the... Nah, the u fell is probably not going to be able to do shit. Yeah, too... It, its accuracy is too fucking low. But yeah, we'll bring in... We'll bring in Finn. See if he can hit him. Of course I get tinked. Okay, hit him once. That's good enough for me. Alright. Let's bring in Solis. No, we are not going to... <laughs> We're not going to attack with Solis. That is not happening. Alright, look at that. 95% chance to hit. This works. Okay, thank god. Got him. How could this be? Whew. Okay, that was way too nasty. Bom, 
Alright, fantastic. That definitely helped out a lot. Now we can focus on killing the remaining dudes. So this will be uh, this will be some good experience for the units that hasn't promoted yet. Uh. Oh wow, seriously? Oh my god, these guys are beefy. Ra -pa 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 -pa, level 14. Hit points, luck, defense, and wow, I saw the level of resistance. That's rare. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dimna still stuck with his 31 health. Still hits hard though. Da, da, da. Let's see, can we get a. Uh, can we steal some money with Daisy? I wonder. This guy's 47 health. Would it be possible to bring him down a little bit? We could um, attack him with a Bolgalon. With Hannibal, that should bring him low enough. There we go, that works. Oh, oh Hannibal, why did you proc adept? Hannibal, that was gonna go to Daisy. Jesus. Yeah, Hannibal is actually kind of good as far as the combat unit goes. He has, a, he has pretty decent stats. He's not fantastic, but he certainly leaks better than what he is in the vanilla gameplay, that's for sure. Val flame time! These guys are actually pretty poor. They only have a thousand cash. They got no respect for themselves. Level 22! Hit points, strength, and defense. I think her magic cap is still. I think her magic is still capped. Oh, they got three thousand. I'm pretty sure her magic is still capped because um, she has over a hundred percent magic growth. So there's no way she should ever be able to uh, to not level magic. Oh well. Let's see. Maybe Rotoban can bring this guy low enough. Oh shit. Never mind. Forgot about the lower crit. Yeah! I do fucking love the warrior criticals in this game, though. They are amazing. Now, before we seize this castle, we have to sell Julia's equipment. Because, of course, spoiler alert, she's gonna get kidnapped next chapter. And I definitely want that Jorman... Uh, not, not so much a Jorman gander, to be quite honest. That's pretty shit, but... Um, I don't want, the, the German Gander Tome does not bother me, but I want her men's staff, because we got so many staff users, and we don't got enough healing staffs for everyone. Ow! Fuck! I could have ended up in a dead Hallis right there. Hit points, defense, and resistance. Hey, maybe, maybe we can actually give Shannon a kill for once. Nope, he's not actually going to be able to kill this. What, what, what a champ. What an actual champ. <laughs> there you go, Linda. Might as well have, I don't know, Tristan kill the last guy or something. Duh. She's not even getting experience anymore. Sad times. A brave axe. Uh. All right, so where's Julia? Julia's all the way back here, so I'm just gonna take her back to the cat. What the hell? Ah, it's Mina. She just Mina just said uploading the thumbnails to Drive. Thanks, Mina. I love you. She's actually literally uploading some Fire Emblem Four thumbnails right now. Ain't she a sweetheart? All right, so uh, let's go sell her stuff. There we go. I do believe there's no more conversations to be had. Nope, no more conversations to be had. So let's uh, go and seize the castle. 
And uh, I'm really hyped for the next chapter. My next chapter is actually one of my favorite chapters because it has my favorite player face music, Light and Darkness. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part. It helps out the channel a lot, as always. My name has been Manx. And I shall see you guys next time. Ba 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 ba.